Hello, this is JR Mayo coming to you from a CO2 store that I had issues with. Been fighting it for a couple of hours and I was stupid and wasn't thinking. But anyway, to show you what I had, we had a discharge pressure that was running in the 480, 490 range and it kept shutting my rack down. So I'll graph it here, I'll show you. You see on the 8th, never mind the line, that's where I was testing the unit. But on the 8th, let's go back here. You can see where it started going up. And we've had high elevations since then and I wasn't quite sure what was going on. So that's where we changed the transducer. Nothing wrong with that. And I just couldn't get my pressures to come down on my discharge. It just wasn't working right. So we ended up doing it after going through all of our safeties, seeing if something was shutting off when that was failing. And finally, after two hours, come over here and notice I had a high suction pressure, but no alarm. But if I graph it, you can see it elevated around the same time my other rack did. I was running fine. Come to find out, compressor one was tripped. Compressor one is the main compressor. It needs to run all the time. And the rack wasn't bringing on the other compressors to compensate. So it kept fluctuating up and down because of my unloader and my logic that runs that compressor. Once I got that corrected, I got my pressure down. My chillers started working. I got two, three chillers here, and this is my condenser evaporator. So it's the condenser coming off of these CO2 compressors, but the valves weren't opening enough because I had a high suction pressure, and it's just maintaining superheat. So if we go menu, the system, ah, sorry, configured applications, page down, enter, and we look at those, it's just trying to maintain 12 degrees superheat. And the valves weren't opening because you can see my pressure is reading 42 now. It was reading 49. And if we look here, our valve percentage and graph it, you can see where it started messing up around the same day. So long story short, you got to make sure your 449 rack is running properly or your condenser on your CO2 rack because this is a condenser evaporator and that's what's using it. Anyway, hope you learned something. Bye.